hello friends and today we are going to learn about how to connect SQL client with the database so in the previous tutorial we have seen how to install SQL client and this today will and, and this tutorial will try to connect the SQL client with the database so if you see the SQL client screen on the left hand side you will see all options are coming as right because we haven't installed any of the connector yet or we, have, we haven't connected any database yet so once we'll connect it so it should it will turn into the green since i'm using mysql database so i'll call, i'll try to connect the sql mysql database now we have a client and to connect the database we need a connector so for that i'll go to google and download mysql connector and once i download it i'll unzip that file and I'll add into the class path of SQL SQL client so to add into class path we'll go to SQL client and right click on the driver and then add new driver and then we'll specify the class path where our file is located where our jar is located now let's try to make a test connection and see it's working or not since my look my database is on my local so I'll be mentioning localhost port would be same that is 3306 and mention the database name now see it's turned into green now let's try to test the connection you give you can give any alias name choose a specific driver name and the username and password and now it's connected connection is successful now let's try to fetch some data from the database And that's how we can connect SQL client with the database. That's all we have for this session. Thanks for watching.